Hello, everybody. I hope all y'all are having a good day today. You know, I, I've in the past 10 years, I've been to a lot of buildings that they call churches. And uh, from time to time, I'll hear a pastor talk about how this place is holy ground, that this is a holy place, this building is a holy place. And uh, I always kind of get a chuckle whenever they say that. I love the story of Jacob in the Bible because there is some deep, deep stuff in the story of Jacob, you know, and he later becomes Israel. There's a, a, a time in, in Jacob's life whenever he leaves Beersheba and he goes towards Haran. And Haran in Hebrew means a crossroads. Jacob was at a crossroads in his life. He left Beersheba, which means seven wells. Okay, father is, is wells, he's, he's living water. He was at a crossroads in his life. He was trying to discover himself. Remember later, he wrestles with God, all right? But anyway, he leaves Beersheba and he goes to the crossroads and he gets tired and he picks up a rock. And he lays it, he uses that rock as a pillow and lays his head down on that pillow. And, and during this time, he has a dream or a vision, and he sees angels ascending and descending, coming down to him. Later on in, in, in that, that chapter, God tells him that, that um, you know, he's going to bless him and his descendants. You know, his descendants would be more than, than the, the, he can count. When Jacob woke from this dream, he was all excited and he was like, oh, wow, you know, this place is awesome. <laughs> this is the gate of heaven. This, this, is, this is where God lives. He said, surely the Lord is in this place and I didn't know it. Remember, the kingdom of God is within you. He said, he's in this place and I didn't know it. Got to watch these words, okay? There's a lot of things to look for that you'll miss. But he says, this is a gate of heaven. The gateway, the entrance way to heaven. All right, the kingdom of God. And later on, he names the place Bethel, which means house of El in the Hebrew. And El is Elohim. He's the father, the one true God. So he names the place Bethel, which means house of God. And remember, Jesus said, In my Father's house are many mansions. And one day in the Spirit, I saw man, Zion's. And Zion, or Zion, it's the same word, means city on a hill. And remember, Jesus said, You are a city on a hill. Anyways, you ever wonder why they call this spot on your head a temple? It's temple, but turn those letters around, temple. The house of El. All right, in Revelations 22, it, it talks about New Jerusalem, and each one of us is a brick in that city, city on a hill. But inside New Jerusalem, there is no temple. Because we are the temple. Don't you know that your body is the temple of God? You know, I, I see a lot of people, they use the Bible verse about God will, will never leave you or forsake you. And I believe that with all my heart, mind, and soul. He will never leave you or forsake you once you've discovered the kingdom of God. He'll never let you go. But that doesn't mean that people don't forsake God, and many people have. And they create in this temple of themselves cisterns that can't hold water. They can't hold the living water of God because they're either too full of their own knowledge or the cistern is broken. We forsake God by believing that God is found in buildings and that works make God happy. When all you have to do is just stop wrestling with God, but hold on to God just like Jacob did. 
and there you'll receive your blessing. You have to let go of all the stuff that you think you know in order to find the kingdom of heaven. And when you do, trust me, you will know it because it's amazing. It's wonderful. And Jacob named that place Benael because I've seen God face to face and my life was spared. And that word in Hebrew means snatched away. It's a spiritual rapture. Once the gateway to heaven is opened, those fountains of living waters will flow. They will flow. And God is a fountain. And remember when they gouged out Samson's eyes, but in the Hebrew it just says I, and that word is defined I as a fountain. Once the gateway to heaven, once the eye is open, the door is open, fountains of living water will flow. I love you all. God bless.